Hello reformers and welcome to the Bureau, XCOM Declassified. Now as you know I am not too good on the tactical side of things, but seeing as the Bureau is a third person shooter, I think we will be okay. So let us start a new game right away and we will check out the story that unfolds right here. We are just going to adjust our brightness a little bit, I may actually increase this a little just to make sure you can see, and there we are. And yes, that is fine as well, I believe, yes. So, we will be playing on Veteran. I don't think I am ready for Commander. <laughs> and Veteran, I think, is enough anyway, because there is a permadeath to this game as well. So your agents can die. As you can see, agents that are not revived will bleed out and die. The base is the only location to recruit new agents, so manage the roster carefully. And of course, a squaddy is... Hmm. You can actually recruit mid-mission, but I think Veteran will be fine for this particular series, so let's go. The nations of the Earth must someday make a common front against attack by people from other planets. We've been intercepting these signals for the past six months. We still don't know their origin, but our analysts have concluded that they are encrypted orders for sleeper agents operating inside this country. Just the sort of thing Mr. Hoover has been warning about. Soviet operatives have penetrated the very highest levels of our military and government. It is a fact. The NSA is not convinced that this is a Soviet operation. Director Falk. Is this going to devolve into another one of your outsider briefings? Well, there's been a new development. A device was recently recovered from the Illyrium mine in Bannock, Montana. The technology is unknown to us, but suggests the activity of a far more sophisticated organization. And where is this device? Close. Send Agent Carter down. <laughs> Agent Carter. Who wants to know? Your escort. Director's orders. I don't need an escort. Well, you're getting one. How much have you been told? My orders are to deliver that case to Director Falk. That is all. And you haven't even been the least bit curious to what's inside? Uh, no. Good. But I'll have to make sure. No one touches that case except Director Falk and me. We'll see about that. It's here. This is it. Drop it! What the hell? 
gunshot. It, it's healed. Well, it seems as though Agent Carter is quite the boss, isn't he? Yes, he something took down burned, that agent. But what? Yes, something did. And did anyone see his eyes glow blue when she was attacking uh, him? Oh, yes. My head. I think something is afoot here. Yes. <laughs> Let's go over and check on the case, actually. The case? What happened? No. It's gone. Whatever was inside. Oh, no. Okay, well... I suppose we should make a quick I exit I one too many. through the gift shop, of course, and retrieve our gun, of course. Aha, okay. Let's do it. Come on, Agent Shit. Carter. They're dead. What's happening Jesus here? Christ, we're under attack! Take yeah, care. let's get in cover. Careful, soldier. Oh, never mind. Shit. Okay, he is... Somewhat obliterated, I must admit. This ship is quite powerful. <laughs> oh no. Let's be cautious. Cautious and careful. We don't want to die in the tutorial level. That would be terrible. Yes, we have to. Let's run. Let's run, Bill. Okay. Everything going fine so far. I haven't died yet, which is actually miraculous. Keep your cool. Stay low and move. Yes. Okay, we're fine. I don't believe there are any enemies here. I Poor think they kids. killed them. Never had a chance. Maybe not. Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, let's make sure that we make a hasty exit. Let's get through here. And to the outside world. Oh my. Okay. Everything is exploding. No. Okay, whoa. A lot of alien ships around here as well. And there is the American flag, of course. We are being very patriotic. Get back! Yeah, right. let's save this dude. Line him up and take the shot. You've done it a hundred times. And let's advance our position, of course, take cover once again, and take these guys down as quickly and effectively, yes, maybe not miss. That might be a good idea, wouldn't it? There we are. That's much better. Now, what I have noticed so far with the aiming and combat system is that if you spam firing, then your crosshairs will eventually expand and thus create less accuracy over time. So it's actually much better to burst fire, or in my case, single shot with the pistol. So <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do, but still end up missing quite a few shots there. How unfortunate. Well, at least we have made it into a rather safe building, or at least I hope it is safe. Let's just make sure that we're not missing any secrets here, because I believe this game does have quite a few law increasing objects I suppose agent Carter I'm agent Nils director Falk ordered me to Falk is he still alive last I heard grab that two-way over there and try to reach him yes I would love to let's do it director Falk come in this is Carter this is agent Kenny the director and I are defending the sublevel lab do you have an escape route we're maintaining position until you and Mills report for evac. Right. I'm on my way. Get to the Advanced Materials Warehouse and take the elevator to the sublevel. We'll hold here as long as we can. Come on, we can cut through here. Yes, okay, well, I suppose we're going to rush with Agent Nils here, and hopefully he will cover us in return for covering him. So, let's actually just take a look at this photo here. I've just noticed this. Aha, entrance to the labs, okay. I suppose that's giving us some sort of hint about where we're going, I guess. So, Jesus, let's open the door. Out there? Nothing, as far as I'm aware. I mean, obviously, this things are going on outside here. <laughs> yes. Ouch. That has got to hurt. Okay. Well, I suppose... Yes, okay, we need to jump down here and go up that flight of stairs. Let's do it. Let's run. Agent Nils, let's do it. No, look out for what? Oh my. Ouch. 
Oh, I'm alive. That's that's amazing. Okay. <laughs> Cut scene in vulnerability. I'll meet you inside. Okay. I will attempt to do so. Ooh. Gotta get that door open. We have an M14 rifle here. Well, I'm not entirely sure whether I like sorry, this because soldier. it is fully automatic. More than you I'm do. not a big fan of fully automatic weapons, I must admit. Oh, and that is the button over there. But I would like to check for any other collectibles, perhaps? Hmm, not too sure about that. Oh, it seems not. Okay. Yes, I know, I know. Don't rush me. I'm checking out everything. Okay, let's open it. A squad commander lives and dies by their choices on the battlefield. Charging into combat only gets a brave soldier shot. If a commander wants to achieve victory over superior forces, they must be observant, creative, and precise. Oh yes, I agree with that wholeheartedly. They're here. Get in position behind those crates. I'll flank them from the window. Opening fire! Okay, let's do it. Nowhere to hide, you bastards! Eat lead! Take him down. Yes, we took out three of them already. Wow, that is rather impressive. There's a fourth. And maybe we can get the final one. Now, the only issue with that is that he is behind cover. And it is very difficult indeed, considering I am swaying at the moment. But there we are. That is the last headshot. And I am actually rather low on ammo at the moment. So I think we might need to find some bullets soon. I hope so, at least. Now we have to reach the elevator, which I suppose is along this walkway here. How did you get over here so quickly? Wow, he is a beast. Nice shot. You're good, Carter. I used to be. Bullshit. Falk wouldn't be interested in you if you weren't the best. We'll see. We'll see. Yes, indeed. Damn oh my it. goodness. Let's go. Oh my. It's flooding in here. That is not too pleasant, I must admit. Okay, let's jump down here. And... Oh... There are some enemies in the distance. Oh my goodness, they are completely attacking one of our friends and... Oh, it seems I scared them off. That's a shame. <laughs> I was hoping to take revenge for the loss of our comrades. Poor yes, bastard. nothing we can do for him. Uh, damn. Okay, where did he go anyway? Wow, they just disappeared. Well, they are mysterious extraterrestrials, of course. Oh, I think it's this way. Oh, he's going down. Let's get some ammo for the M14 rifle. That would be nice. And let's jump down here. Cover and position will keep your agents safe and opens the enemy to attack. You can cue actions for your agents, such as moving to a position and firing on an exposed enemy. Watch for opportunities and make every shot count. The battlefield can be your ally if you use it well. Oh, I have no doubt about that, but the problem is, as I said at the beginning, I am not exactly tactical. Oh, we do have an idea. Oh, yes, it's a press space. Yes, let's do that. Oh, my goodness, this is cool. Okay, okay, use the mouse to highlight Nils move order. Okay, there it is. And then select that order. Ah, this is cool. Look at this. We can actually move him anywhere we want. Obviously, we don't want to move him in front of this. That would be terrible. So let's move him around the side like the diagram actually showed us. I think we'll move him here. Get down. Just there we are. And now, as it says, we want to activate the critical strike ability. So I believe that is this one, yes. Okay. And confirm the target. Finish it off. Yeah. Okay, so now we press space to deactivate. Okay, that's cool. And now we'll see him run over there. And he will most likely execute... The gun, which is cool. Okay, there we are. And now we have a few sectoids coming in here that we definitely want to take out as quickly as humanly possible. Now it would be good if I could actually hit them though. Oh my goodness. I need to get closer. <laughs> the sway at very long ranges is very difficult to actually deal with. There we go. That's much better. Low ammunition, I know, we're fine. As long as I can headshot, they die in one or two hits, which is really, really nice. And there we go. Nice. I do realize that Nils was actually going to die, but thankfully he does have regenerating HP for the moment. And now we get some more ammo, which is great. 
so I should be able to continue using my M1911 pistol, which is so far my favorite weapon, I believe. I have tried out the M14 rifle, and I believe the damage per shot is a lot less, of course, because it is a fully automatic rifle, and I do prefer the one-shot, one-kill style of gameplay, <laughs> uh, especially when you actually get the headshot, which is rather rare, I must admit, for me. But there we are, now we have a large amount of bullets, which is great. So we should be fine for the foreseeable future. So let us head out, and we are, oh my, being nuked by the looks of things, oh no. Damn, that was close. Was, was it a dud? No, whatever it was, it's not supposed to explode. Ooh, seed impact, investigate it. It doesn't look like a bomb to me. No, but it sure doesn't look like anything good either. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Hmm, okay. What is it? Let's not stick around to find out. He obviously wonders as well. Bring That's good to know. Here. Watch out, Carter. They're here. Oh, there they are. Oh, and there's a big dude over there. An outsider. Oh, I see. Okay, well, let's go into battle mode again, I suppose, and we will select the move command. Let's get him... I think over here might be quite nice, or here? He is behind full cover. After all, that might be really nice. Yeah, let's move him there, there, and then we'll go for a critical strike on that outsider over there. Take him down. Yeah, I think that sounds like a good plan. And now let's actually charge in as well. Make sure we don't stand next to the explosive barrel. That might be a catastrophe if that were to explode. Okay, let's shoot that dude down. There we are. And maybe we can take that one down too. Thank you very much. And, whoa, that was it? Okay. I thought we had more enemies to take. And now we need to take the elevator down, by the looks of things, as he said. And there's a shotgun. I might actually take that shotgun instead of the M14 rifle. There we are, as you can see. Standard US military model. Very nice. Pump shotgun. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Maybe we can go over here. Aha! What is this? Bullets. Oh, yes. I need that. And... Ammunition is full now for the shotgun. Okay, that's fine. What is this, though? Oh, more grenades. Okay, we're full on those. I think we'll probably use those in our next engagement. That might be quite nice. Okay, so let's see here. Call the elevator. Come on, come on. Oh, now we have to defend it. Okay. Okay, let's try and use a grenade. Where do you want me, Carter? Let's go for this. Yeah, there we are. Boom. Yay! <laughs> well, that was funny. Okay, that's cool. And I do actually have a shotgun equipped, so that's probably not too good for long range. So we'll most likely be using our pistol for now. Ouch. How dare you hit me! I am Agent Carter. I am sacred in this game, of course. <laughs> okay, come on. Let's take that guy down. And... Yeah, focus on that guy. Oh, this guy's trying to flank us, as you can see. Let's try and dodge him over there and take him down. Is he dead? I think he's dead. That guy isn't, though. And it seems Nils is having quite some issues with him. How unfortunate. Oh, but there we are. We are lucky enough to have the elevator arrive just in time. And now let's run. Go. Different. I think they're giving the orders. The others are just grunts. Jesus. Let's get out of here. Come on, let's go. Oh, yes, I wholeheartedly agree. Let's do it. How do we know Director Falk is still alive? The old man's tough as nails. And he's got Kinney and Weaver to watch his back. Yeah, but who says they can be trusted? They've been with us since the beginning. If anyone's loyal to Falk, it's those two. Hmm, good to know that we don't have to take out any double agents, and- Oh my goodness, what was that? Come on, almost got it! Jesus! Holy hell. Poor bastard. We never stood a chance. We've got to reach Director Falk before they do. Loyalty's got nothing to do with it. Just before the attack, one of our people turned on me. One of ours? I think she was infected with something. Her eyes turned black. She shot me and went after the case I was carrying. She shot you? Yeah. I don't know what happened after that. 
Whatever was in that case, it killed her. And it saved my goddamn life. Thankfully, otherwise we wouldn't be experiencing this amazing adventure. And with that note, I am actually going to end this episode off here. So, I thank you for watching the first foray into the world of the Bureau. And I will see you next time.